page three. A space probe is traveling at 20,000 miles per hour when it fires its thrusters for 45 seconds and attains a speed of 26. So that's gaining speed. So the, the, um, assume the acceleration is constant. Acceleration is change in velocity over change in time. So the change in velocity was 6,000 miles per hour and for change in time was 45 seconds and we have hours and seconds mixed here. So that is the acceleration but we need to put it in some sort of units that make sense here and since this problem part C asked it in seconds we need to change the miles per hour to uh, feet per second, let's say. So, 6,000 miles per hour, and we want the hours to cancel out, so we put one hour is 60 minutes, and then one minute, this is not seconds yet, is uh, 60 seconds. So the minutes are gone, the hours are gone, and I'm going to have it in seconds, but now I get the miles to feet, and so I want the miles to cancel out. So I get 5,280 miles is, uh, oh, excuse me, one mile is 5,280 feet. Ooh, boy, I really had that backwards there for a sec. All right, so I get... 6,000 divided by 60 divided by 60 times 5,280 and that will be, if I can find my calculator, where did I put it? Here it is. Um, 6,000 divided by 60 squared times 5280 is 8800 feet per second and that's the the numerator so I got 8800 feet per second divided by 45 seconds creates Uh, 195.5555, 196 um, feet per second squared. So that's the answer to A. What is the distance equation? Okay, so the distance equation would be um, uh, we'd find the velocity by integrating this. And that would be one, the velocity would be 196 feet per second squared t, integrating that constant, plus a constant which is the initial velocity, and that was 20,000. So now I got to do the conversion for 20,000. So um, I'd have to take 20,000. divided by 60 squared times 5280 and that is 29333 feet per second and so the distance equation I have to integrate this again so this would be t squared goes to the power of 2 and so I have to divide by 2 which it's 98 feet per second squared plus the integrate that would be 29333 three, three feet per second times t plus initial distance and I'll say that's zero because we're starting just say it's wherever we're starting to count this at okay so that's b 
and how far does the probe travel in 45 seconds? So I would put 45 in there. So I have 98 times 45 squared plus 29333 times 45 and I get 1518435 feet. So I'd round it off to like 152, let's see, get the decimal, 1,500,000, 1,500,000, uh, feet in the 45 seconds. Okay, number six, evaluate each of the following. So we have the integral from 1 to 4 of 5 over x minus 1 dx. Well, this becomes the integral from 1 to 4. The 5 would come out of the first part and then 1 over x dx minus the integral. There is no 5 on this one. Uh, uh, from 1 to 4 of... 1 dx. So the integral of 1 over x is ln x. So I'm going to have 5 ln x evaluated from 1 to 4 minus the integral of 1 is just x evaluated from 1 to 4. 4 into here is 5 ln 4 minus 5 ln 1, ln 1 is 0, so minus 0. All that minus 4 in here is 4 minus, and then 1 in there is 1, and I got to subtract all of that. So I have 5 ln 4 minus, 4 minus 1 is 3, minus 3. Now, B says F inverse. So if F of x, y is 5 over x minus 1, and I have to find F inverse, Remember, you switch y and x's to do that. So x equals 5 over y minus 1, and then solve for y. So subtract, uh, add 1 to both sides. Then I'll multiply both sides by y, and divide both sides by x plus 1. And so I get f inverse, or y, of x as... Um, 5 over x plus 1. Okay, that's f inverse. Now they say to put in x minus 1 into this. So f inverse of x minus 1 is 5 over x minus 1 plus 1. That's putting x minus 1 place the x. Those cancel out and I get 5 over x x. And so I'm supposed to integrate that from 1 to 4 of 5 over x dx, which is, put in 4, minus put in 1. Oop, excuse me, integrate. The 5 comes out, and 1 over x is ln x, so, so this becomes 5 ln x evaluate from 1 to 4. And uh, if I put 4 in there, I get 5 ln 4 minus 1 in there is 0 times 5 is 0. So 5 ln 4 is the, the exact answer. Okay.